Okay, artists, today we are going to do step two on our animal chalk art. We are going to be using black glue to highlight all the lines so that we create kind of boundaries or areas that we're going to then fill in with chalk. So you can see all, everywhere where there was pencil lines, I filled in with black glue. First thing you want to do when you get your black glue, make sure that it is opened. So just like regular glue, you got to turn it to open it. Then I would get a piece of scrap paper to kind of test it on and get the feel of how hard you have to pinch to get it out. And then you want to get started on your artwork. Now realize that this isn't going to dry right away, so you're going to have to start in the middle and work your way out. It is fairly awkward to kind of use this big tip, so you have to kind of, I like to use both hands and squeeze gently to get just enough out that I can then kind of drag it. So you can see how it's kind of messy. And this is why the first week you want to make sure that you made everything nice and big or you end up with kind of big blobs for your animals if you made your animals too small. So you might want to relook at areas and think, oh, I had a lot of detail in that. Maybe I won't do that detail with glue. I'm going to do that detail with chalk. So even just those nostrils is kind of challenging. But I'm starting in the middle and working my way out so that my hands don't have to kind of rub over that. So I'm doing the eyes here and coming around. I kind of squeeze and go, and if it's ever feeling like it's coming out too hard, just take a second, stop, and you can go back into it. You don't want to get it too globby. This can be very challenging to really focus and fill it in. So if I know that I want the inside of my eyes black anyways, I might just make that globby black. So you're going to have to be patient. Just don't sit in one spot and, and push. That's why I always like to kind of angle my glue bottle. So I know the direction I'm going to go to the left here. So as I squeeze, I'm pulling it and filling in those lines. Like I said, this is not easy. It's going to be a challenge. So give yourself a break. It doesn't need to be perfect. Don't let yourself get frustrated or give up just because it's smudged, like my eye here is smudged, so I decided I'm not even going to squeeze. I'm just going to kind of move it and fill it in. That's going to be black now. wasn't maybe my plan originally, but I, I just have to adjust and persist and go with it. So now I'm doing the top of my head, and I'm filling in every line that I have. When you are done, this is wet with glue, and it will be a little bit before it dries, so this needs to go on the drying rack. So remember, lead with the glue bottle. So know where you're going. You can see here's the mouth. And I will just do the head today, but if your hand needs a break, take a break. Okay. So you kind of get the idea of what it will look like. It's kind of like puffy paint when you get done. All right, good luck, have fun.